Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a crucial aspect of moving to Canada, showing proof of funds. Understanding this will help smooth your transition and ensure you meet immigration requirements. You need to prove you can support yourself financially when you first arrive. We'll explore five proven ways to show proof of funds, so stay tuned. Let's start with the most common method bank statements. Think of these as your financial snapshot, proving you have enough money to cover your expenses in Canada. You'll need recent statements, ideally from the last three to six months, showing all transactions. Be sure they clearly display your name, account number, and the balance. Immigration officials want to see consistency and a healthy balance that aligns with the cost of living in your chosen Canadian city. Remember, Vancouver and Toronto are pricier than smaller towns, so adjust your target savings accordingly. Don't forget, clarity is key. Make sure your statements are easy to read and understand. If they're in another language, get them translated by a certified translator. Remember, a clear financial history makes for a smoother immigration process. Next up, a letter from your bank. This adds an extra layer of legitimacy to your application. It's like having your bank vouch for you, officially confirming your financial standing. The letter should state your average account balance over the past few months, similar to what's shown on your bank statements. It should be printed on official bank letterhead and signed by a bank officer. Make sure it's addressed to the Canadian Visa Office handling your application. This personalized touch shows you've done your homework. A letter from your bank is like a stamp of approval, adding weight to your proof of funds. It's a simple step that can make a big difference in your application. So, you've got your eyes set on Canada, but you're not quite sitting on a mountain of cash? Don't worry, you're not alone. Many people rely on a little financial boost to make their dreams a reality. That's where a loan agreement comes in. Now, before you jump the gun, let me clarify. A loan agreement itself might not always be enough. Immigration officials want to see that you can actually access these funds, not just that someone's promised to lend them to you. Think of it like this. You're asking Canada to trust you with their resources, their opportunities. A loan agreement shows you're serious, but they also need proof that you're good for it. That's why it's crucial to pair this agreement with other documents, like bank statements from the lender, showing they actually have the money. Imagine you're a lender too. You wouldn't just hand over a large sum without ensuring the borrower could repay it, right? This is especially true for larger loans. If you're relying heavily on borrowed money, Canadian officials might want to see a very solid repayment plan. They're looking for reassurance that you're financially responsible and won't become a burden on their system. Remember, immigration is a big decision, and showing financial stability is a key part of that process. Now let's say you're fortunate enough to have a family member or close friend who's willing to help you out with your Canadian dream. This is where a gift deed comes into play. Essentially, a gift deed is a legal document that officially transfers money or property from one person to another without any expectation of repayment. It's like a financial gift, no strings attached. But here's the catch. Canadian immigration authorities are going to want to make sure that this is a genuine gift and not some sort of disguised loan. So, you'll need to provide a properly drafted gift deed that clearly states the amount, the relationship between the parties, and that there's no obligation to repay the funds. Think of it like this. You're basically proving to the Canadian government that this money is yours to keep, free and clear, and that you're not going to be burdened with debt once you arrive. It's all about showing financial stability and independence, which are super important factors in the immigration process. Remember, clarity and transparency are key here. A well-drafted gift deed can make all the difference in demonstrating your financial readiness to start your new life in Canada. All right, let's talk about a more common scenario, proving your funds through your own hard-earned income. One of the most straightforward ways to do this is by providing proof of salary or pay stubs. This is basically your way of showing the Canadian government that you have a stable income stream and can support yourself financially. Typically, you'll need to provide recent pay stubs, usually covering the past few months. These documents should clearly show your gross income, deductions, and net pay. The more consistent and stable your income looks, the better. Remember, consistency is key. But here's a pro tip. 
Don't just rely on pay stubs alone. Consider supplementing them with additional documents like your employment contract or a letter from your employer confirming your position, salary, and length of employment. The more evidence you can provide, the stronger your application becomes. Think of it like this. You're building a case for your financial stability, and every piece of evidence adds weight to your argument. A strong financial profile can significantly increase your chances of a successful application. So, there you have it. Five proven ways to show proof of funds when immigrating to Canada. Remember, each situation is unique, so choose the method that best fits your circumstances and gather all the necessary documentation. With a little planning and preparation, you'll be well on your way to achieving your Canadian dream. If you like this video, please smash that subscribe button and share it with anyone who might find it helpful. Good luck with your journey and I'll see you in the next one.